Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Journey Down. In the last episode we started this third and last chapter of the trilogy in a volcano, which we had to leave from pretty goddamn soon, so we used this hot air balloon in order to get out of there. But once we got, but once we got out, we got out of the volcano and we were high enough, uh, high enough up in the air, the Armando Power Company uh, shut us down, and we fell. I think this is one of the Armando Power Company's uh, abandoned mining sites, and apparently the power company is uh, is is basically mining and uh, mining and cutting these. Uh, I think it was called Asilitry, the Great Asilitry. So they're basically mining and cutting the Great Asilitry's roots uh, of the ground because those roots contain some sort of crystals that have that use lots that that has lots of energy in them. And actually, uh, this generator generator here is uh, is using the uh, is is using the uh, crystals energy right now. And we also found out that the. Uh, that apparently the power company is planning to blow up Saint Armando and kill. I think it was as I think it was as much as four million and six hundred thousand people. So they are basically basically plan planning to nuke the entire, the or, or, or at least most of the city for whatever reasons. Zone one drilling project. So yeah, we uh, so so that's so that's so that seems to be their plan. But we don't know why they are uh, going to nuke uh, Saint Armando. What? Um, what? How could they possibly benef benefit from that? I don't know. But any. But anyway. So. 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 So now that. So now. So now that we know this, and and we actually and and we actually have all this evidence uh, in a disc, which Lena has in her possession right now, and and she told us to use this bucket train to go to to go back up to Saint Armando, which is uh, which, which which is a, li a little bit surprising, but at the same time kind of disappointing in a sense that. This is only the second episode of the third chapter, and we have to already leave from the Underland after going through all that trouble in the first and second chapter to get down here. But any, but anyhow, I'm sure, I, I'm sure, I'm sure that we'll that we'll come back down here at some point, at some point in the game. But still, it it's still kind of disappointed to go to go all the way back to Saint Armando after after, after coming all the way down here. But yeah, th that's what we have to do regardless. So without further ado, let's continue on with the rest of the game. So we so we are now ha have to use this bucket chain to get back up back up to Saint Armando, and find I think it was the university professor. What was his name? Gitbo or something like that. Unless uh, un unless uh, unless I'm un unless I am confusing the professor and Leroy, the former chief of pol the Port Arthur's uh, former chief of police. Uh, his name. So, so, so unless I'm, so unless I'm, I, I am conf confusing those two together. Uh, it was Git or something like that. So I basically have to find uh, a university professor uh, inside Armando. And actually, I don't. Actually, I, I don't remember why we have to find him. But <laughs> whatever the case, I'm sure. I'm sure that the game will remind us. But now uh, let's use the bucket bucket chain and leave here. Time to jump on board, buddy. New adventures await! And of course, absolutely nothing is going to happen when, uh, when we travel up all the way up there. All the way to the skies. Oh. ANN 8 TV, live at 11. The latest update from the number one news team, the Armando News Network. In tonight's top story, increased hostility and unlawful disobedience at Sankara Square. Violent gangs, fume heads, and residential terrorists are forming a violent uprising challenging Governor Morobo's sweeping anti-criminal reform. And now, Gabby Abchicha is with us at Sankara Square, reporting live from the barricade. Thank you, Don. I'm standing here in the chaos of Sankara Town, where the government forces have deployed... Hey, turn off that propaganda nonsense! We got company! Company? What are you talking about, Sergeant? Intruders! We got them pinned down in the old excavation shaft. Lock and load! Oh yeah! Finally some action! Where are we getting ourselves into? Okay, scumbags, the game's up! Whoops! <laughs> I didn't mean to trespass. Sorry. Oh, crap. Buona! I think we got off on the wrong floor. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better start talking, or we gonna blast you to pieces! Who you working for? Answer me! Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so shit's gone real all of a sudden. 
I told you that nothing was going to happen on, 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 the, on, on our way up here. We're not working for anyone. Watch it! I know karate! Although I don't think that karate is going to help you much over there. Well, we are kind of working for Lina, so this is not entirely true. Let, uh, let's pick this option because I because it's the, mo the most amusing one. Watch it! I know karate! <laughs> no, you don't, Buana. Hey, wait a minute! Buana, Kito, is that you? It's me, Wasi! Hey, long time no see, man! What's up? <laughs> what kind of mess have you gotten yourself into this time? Oh, come on down from there. I'll show you the way to our hideout. Ah, so they are good friends after all. Whoa, this place rocks! You live down here? This here underground palace, my brother, is the home to the Resistance Rockers. The Resistance Rockers? You said it, brother. Bombshell here is slamming the drums, and yours truly rocks a guitar. So what are you doing down here under the city? Oh, that's a long story, man. I'm looking for someone. A professor. Goes by the name of Moorhead. I got some very important information for him. You're looking for a professor down here? In the sewers? Hey, yeah. Uh, this ain't exactly an academic institution, Buana. I suggest you head over to San Caratown and ask around. Maybe someone there knows where to find him. Ah, okie dokie. So the uh, so these are the, so these are basically the uh, rebel uh, rebels uh, revolutionary fighters who uh, who fight against the uh, uh, Armando power, power power company and the and the government and corruption and all that stuff. All right, cool. And they and they all and they are also a rock and roll band too. That's pretty goddamn cool. So what's going on? So what's going on in the city? Oh man, Buana, the situation's real bad. Mayor Marobo has lost it, man. She's going haywire. People are being evicted from their homes even as we speak. Barricades keep expanding, and the rich huh, just keep on getting richer. Oh man, it's madness. Head over to San Cara Square and see for yourself. Madness. That's America we are talking about, right? Shots fired. So, and who is this Mayor, Mayor Morobo? I think we have heard this name uh, quite, quite a few times already. So, who is this Mayor Marobo? Mayor Marobo is the Iron Lady on top of the whole wicked system, aye? Oh, she and it's a poverty, she. Literally, by kicking the poor out on the streets. And she owns the media, too. I'm Ooh. telling you, man, that vampire is sucking the blood out of St. Armando. And she's got the riot police doing her dirty work. Thousands of them. Cold-blooded cops lined up and armed to the teeth, you know? Wow. Really? That's the truth, brother. It's like a police bestiality, man. Bestiality. That's why we gotta reveal her lies and break down the entire system. Okie dokie, well, good luck for that. Tell me more about the Resistance Rockers. Well, check it out. We're the rawest, most revolutionary underground rock and roll band in St. Armando. Amen, brother. Sounds We've been camping ass. out here since the cops evicted us from our crib downtown. The pigs have closed down and barricaded the city center. It's like a ghost town, man. Now we live here with the other outcasts of St. Armando. Wood, what you working on? Me and Bombshell's here where? <laughs> we working on the revolution, man. The city of St. Armando has been going to hell for a long time, and something's got to change. Yeah, our next piece is going to rip the establishment to shreds, man. It's high time the oppressive regime of Mayor Marobo comes to an end. Oh, man, you got to fight the oppression. Yeah, indeed, fight the oppression. I like these guys, they are damn cool. So, how, so how, how, how have you been? How you been, Wasi? Been a long time since we roamed the city streets together. Ha! Sure has, Buana. You and Keto used to be my favorite low hoodlum brothers. <laughs> we kids sure made those streets dangerous. Oh, we certainly did, man. <laughs> you remember how we used to pickpocket Johns down Central? You serious, Wasi? Oh, right as rain I am. We were some real neighborhood vigilantes. Buana was scaring them with firecrackers. Me? <laughs> I was crawling through their coats for cash, and Keto clinging to their legs like, like some dog on elf fume. <laughs> Woo, we sure made those suckers run. <laughs> yeah, I bet they went home and cried to mama and rethought their lives after that. Ah, yeah, those were good times. 
So whatever happened to you and Keto, man? I always kind of figured you guys got into trouble with the cops and got locked up for good. <laughs> sure, we got locked away a couple times, but we always found a way out. We got lucky and got off the streets. Wound up in Kingsport Bay. Been living a chill life there, running a charter. It's been real good. Glad to hear you made it okay, Buana. Most of us stray dogs from the street days have had a tough time finding a peaceful place in this universe. City ain't what it used to be, Buana. It's real good seeing you again, man. You too, man. See you around, Wasi. Later, Buana. Okie dokie. So, what do we have here? So that, so that's the, so that's the mayor, making it, uh, <laughs> kicking, kick, uh, getting, 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 ri getting rid of the poverty by literally kicking the poor people out of the city and making the rich people uh, richer. Sounds like you, sounds like U.S. to me, <laughs> in a sense. But uh, yeah, so what do we have here? Hear me, uh, citizens of Saint Armando. For a brighter future, we must sacrifice now. Obey and be rewarded. Disobey and be punished. Well, she seems nice. Yeah, doesn't. Yeah, yeah, doesn't sound like an extreme fascist at all, right? Not one bit. Hmm, air horn. Dude, can you do that outside, please? Oh, you bet I can. Can we take it? Yes, we can. Nice. And what's this cassette thing? Hey, what's on the cassette? It's our next big hit, man. We call it the Revolution Rush. The newest, rawest piece of revolutionary rock and roll is gonna change the world, man. If one song can change the course of the universe, the Revolution Rush will be the one. Yeah, if only you can get your pansy ass back up on stage, Wasi. Give me a break, man. You know I'm still processing my emotion from that gig at Woodlock. Yeah, yeah, processing emotions. By the time you finish licking the wounds of your broken pride, this will all be game over, man. Bombshell! I told you, I am not playing this guitar outside of this here room until I get my mojo back. God knows from where. But I swear to you that when I do, I'm gonna shatter the earth with rock and roll. <sighs> I cannot mm -hmm. believe you and your boneheaded ego. Ah, so he's missing his mojo, or whatever that is. So maybe we have, maybe we have to find it, uh, bring, uh, bring, bring it back to him, and well, he, he, he starts to rock and roll, I guess. Mm, speakers. Nice speakers. Bet you can make some real serious noise with those. That ain't nothing, man. You should see the ones on our tour truck. Tour truck, huh? Disco crappy. The Fatito Incident, number one chart top list. Live at Woodlock, uh, five penny awards. Woodlock. Hmm, that sounds very familiar. That sounds like that sounds like the name of the that sounds like the na name of the first town you you get into in Monkey Island 2, the uh, Lichuk's Revenge. Maybe that's a reference to it. Possibly. The Fatito Incident. Cool, I remember this album. Yeah, that was our debut album. It rocked so hard our tour bus fell to pieces. Yeah, we were big back then. Real big. Yeah, those were the good times, Wasi. Mm -hmm. And this one? Live at Woodlock. That was gonna be our big comeback. Our underground revolution. Damn. We done everything to make sure the cops wouldn't find out we were playing. Concert had been going great. The crowd was cheering. Everything was perfect. But then, in the middle of an epic shred, they hit me where it hurt the most. Those bastards pulled a plug on me. Oh, the crowd was raging. Wasi was booed off the stage. It hurt him. It hurt him bad. What happened? Turns out it was an inside job. One of the technicians was an undercover cop working for Marobo. Ah, uh, the powers that be had broken my mojo. Silence the resistance rockers at last. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Well, that sounds very tragic. Mm, drums. Whoa! Just imagine all the noise I can make with that. Okay. 
bombshell. Ah, oh, so so it's her name. <laughs> All right. At uh, at at first at first I I thought that by bombshell Vasi was uh, referring to this underground hideout of theirs, but now it's her name. Cable. I think it's connected to the TV. Yeah. Some lowlife stole our VCR last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not cool. Not cool at all. Poster. It's a poster for the resistance rockers. It says, "Open your eyes." Where have I heard that before? It was our slogan, man. Our message. It means that people gotta stop living an illusion and face the realities, man. Cool. Yeah, indeed. Do you have anything else to say, Bumpshell? What's up? Hey, Buana. It's good to meet you. A friend of Wasi is a friend of mine. I'm Bombshell, resident drummer and pyrotechnician. Basically, you can say I'm in charge of everything that goes boom around here. So what's your gig, Buana? I'm a pilot. You, a pilot? Oh, come on, man. I never met a dude so afraid of heights in my entire life. I'm fine as long as I get to have my eyes closed. Buana, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. And uh, that's that, I guess. Well, let's try one more time. Hey, what's up, Bombshell? Hey, Captain B. How's it going? Doing good, man. Doing good. Okay, nothing else. And there, there, there seems to be some papers right, uh, right under the cassette tape, but we can't seem to be able to read them or anything. Guess they're not important then. And there's nothing else here from what I can see. Well, there's fire here. It's actually kind of cozy down here. Hmm, yes, it is. Okay, well, let's go there and see what's, what do we have here. Wait, where are you going? Oh, we are... Well, we are living entirely. Ah, sure smells like St. Armando. Must be somewhere far from the city center, though. I don't recognize this place. Okay, so... But let's not leave this place just yet. I I also wa I also want to check. Um, I guess we can talk to these two guys here. So what about here? Where does this arrow lead? Ah, it goes down there. All right, good. Oh oh, he's gonna. Be oh, we are back here. Okay. It says orange line. Abanga Heights, Kabulanga Market. Kinda looks like the railway authority had to stop traffic on this route for power company reasons. Okay, and graffiti. It says, Jock's rule, everyone else is a mule. That's a pretty lame rhyme. Hmm, yeah. Not impressed either. What about the bucket chain? Can we use it? I can't believe we traveled all the way up from the underland in that thing. Hmm. Okay, so so it doesn't it doesn't look like we can use the bucket chain to, to get even higher. And what's this box? Ooh, it's a jackhammer! Oh fuck yes, pick that up. So we got a jackhammer now. This jackhammer means some serious business, man. I gotta find some gas so I can start playing with it. Wait, you got the you need gas for this thing? This jackhammer means some serious business, man. I gotta find some gas so I can start playing with it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we need gas in in uh, in order to use this thing. All right. Never thought you would need gas in in uh, in in order to use a hammer. Mm, what do you have to say about the air horn? <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Okay, okay. Well, let's let's go up. I I don't think there's anything else down there that we need. What we need to do or pick up or anyone else to talk to? Wrecked car. Nice car. Looks like it's been through quite a lot, though. What are you doing? Hmm. Someone's in there. <laughs> Sounds like someone's taking a nap in there. And speaking about someone, where is Kito? He's he's not the one sleeping there, is he? Now we have to use the air horn on, on that thing and and wake the poor guy up. Okay, rise and shine, mister. <laughs> How did he not w wake up? <laughs> Wa 
Wow, he must really, really be comfortable in there. One more time. Okay, rise and shine, mister. <laughs> How the hell is he not waking up to that? And get a heart attack. <laughs> wow, he must really, really be comfortable in there. Now we have it. Now we have to use a jack jackhammer to make things a little bit less comfortable. Hmm. If I can get that gas out of the wreck somehow, I can use it for my jackhammer. Uh huh. So there's so there's so there's some gas in this car. Hmm. Oh yeah, and this and oh yeah, the, uh, this micro microfilm has and uh, uh, and has all the all the information that we learned from the computer uh, back in the underland. So yeah, oh yeah, we had to bring this microfilm to the professor. Yeah, that's why we came uh, came up here to look for him. That's what it was. Sign. Sign says, Flood Control Canal Four One Two B, City of Saint Armando. This must have been one of the many canals they built after the big flood of seventy nine. I remember when that happened. <laughs> Me and Keto had a blast that summer selling hot dogs from a canoe in the middle of downtown. Authorities never figured out what triggered that flood. I wonder what happened. Maybe the power company had something to do with that as well. I wouldn't be surprised. So, where the hell is Kito? Hmm. And what is this truck? Is, um, is, uh, is this uh, this band's tour truck? Ah, oh, he's going go all the way down. There doesn't seem to be anything else interesting. Ah, well. Oh, that's one huge truck. That's the Resistance Rockers tour truck, brother. Yeah, also I knew it. known as the Revolutionary Bandwagon. Revolutionary what? Oh, I'm telling you, Buana, you need a big ass ride with big ass speakers if you want to get a revolution started. Feel me? Only way to get our brothers and sisters to listen up. Go on, man. But the truck broke down during our last tour. I'm afraid that old truck is game over. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, he just needs a little tinkering, Mon. Kito, what are you doing there? What's it look like? I'm fixing the truck, of course. <laughs> what you up to, Buana? I'm going to see if I can find Professor Moorhead so I can give him the microfilm. Nina's counting on us, man. And she can always count on Buana's charters, right? Of course, man. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm on top of this. Nice. I'll keep on tinkering with the truck, okay? Cool, you do that, man. Catch you later. Later, man. So that's where Kito was all this time. <laughs> Alright. And there's another wheel welder there. Hmm. I want I wonder if I wonder if that I wonder if that is the exact same welder from the first chapter. Uh the 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 uh, the woman. Who uh who who, ga who gave us the access card to the elevator. Wow, a lot of people seem to live down here. Okay, nothing else in here. Okie dokies. So, 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 we know, so we know that where Kito is now. That's good. And it doesn't look like that we need to do anything with the truck here. Alright, so, so we need some gas for the jackhammer. But what do we need to use a jackhammer for yet, I don't know. And we also possibly need to find VCR or or whatever that thing was that was stolen from the guys below, or or maybe we need or, or maybe we need to find something else to repl uh, to re uh, a replace VCR replacement of some kind. Industrial area. Looks like we're somewhere off over the north side of Armando. Only industries here. Mm hmm. And I don't see anything else interesting here. That highway probably leads straight into Central Saint Armando. Yep. That highway probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So let's explore some more. All right. Let's go check out Sankara Town. Yeah, let's do just that. Oh, we used the ele used the elevator. Damn, this looks fancy. Aha, uh -huh, so we so so we can choose where to go like uh, from uh, by using this map here. At least I I don't seem to be able to go anywhere from uh 
from here, like this. I can I, I can even access my inventory here. So we just have to decide where to go from here. Well, we don't really have many options here, so let's just go to Sankara, Sankara Square. Oh, wow! I can't believe I've been going to that other place all these years. How long you been here? We just moved here from King Spot. Oh, hey, look at these that. These noodles are fabulous. Familiar faces. I love these little blue thingies. What are they? Oh, that is Chef's secret. Very good for man. Make you good, strong man. Oh, oh, oh I'm sure it does. They're so juicy and spicy and so perfectly squishy. Yes, eat some Okina noodles every day. Make strong heart. Tell all friends. Make great fortune for all. Um, yes, sure. So that so that's Sabo and Sabo, the chef from the hey, yard and man. yeah. Wanna go to see you back in Sabo kitchen again, Makina. Uh, look who come visit. And Makina, of course. Both hey, from the first chapter. Hey, look at that. Hey, Makina. You missed me. Wanna you crazy donkey? I never thought I'd see you again. Did you get yourself in trouble again? Trouble. Super yes, of super course. Cool and lay like super duper low. Yes. If you say so, Buana. I'm just glad you're back in one piece. Okay, so before we a ask about the professor. So why did she leave Kingsport Bay? Well I think we I think we all, all know the reason why she left. Big because she wanted to own her own uh, re uh, re restaurant in Saint Armando, although uh, al although I although I'm, I'm quite sure that by restaurant she meant a much bigger restaurant than a simple shop like this. Oh, and the name is Sapo Kinas. Ah, all right, like Sapo plus Makina. Yeah, I get it. Why you leave Kingsport Bay? Kingsport isn't what it used to be, Buona. After you left, the power company switched off the electricity and barricaded the whole area. Well, damn. Lucky for me, Sabo stumbled into my life, giving me all sorts of praise for my cooking. Well, we fell in love and our new oh. restaurant was a fact. Oh, that's a beautiful story, Makina. Yes, indeed. That's very sweet. So, how's city life? How city life? Oh, I'm loving the big city, Buana. You have plenty of customers, and our Sabo Kena's hot yogurt chili fusion is a big hit. Yes, wonderful partnership in St. Armando. Sankara Town is a great place for food culture. If only we didn't have the eviction looming around the corner, I'd say we made it real good here. What? They're gonna throw you out of here too? Yes, they bulldozing everything here in Sankara Town. I defend! I cut bulldozer to pieces! Uh, yeah, yeah, you do that. I'm sure, I'm sure you can easily cut them to pieces with your kitchen, kitchen knives. With <laughs> I, 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 th I think we saw his, like, uh, knife throwing skills in the first chapter. So, what's cooking? What's cooking? Making more of our patented Sabokena Yugla Chili Fusion Noodles. Great! Put some more on! I'm almost done here! Would hate to see the bottom of my bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you like it. Me and my sabo is making magic. Wonderful magic with wonderful woman. What kind of magic oh, are we talking about hush, here? Sabo, you're making me blush. Oh, aren't you guys the cutest? Well, well, yeah. Let, let, let's 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 ask about the professor. Uh, the last. Do you ever miss Kingsport Bay? Of course I do. Morobo's been cutting off huge parts of the city, and Kingsport is one of them. With no trains and almost the whole harbor shut down, so much as getting there now is real difficult. Oh man, I miss the old charter. Well, if we ever get rid of Morobo, maybe one day we can all go back. I sure hope so, Makina. Okay, so about the professor. You guys heard of a Professor Moorhead? Sorry, Buona. No idea who you're talking about. Sabo, you heard of a Moorhead? No, sorry. Alright, thanks, guys. Hmm. 
Mm. So who so who is this Morobo woman? She's the mayor again. So who is this Morobo woman? Yeah, she's into some real shady deals, it seems. He's selling it all out for her own personal gains, I guess. Morobo make all evictions. Make barricades. I suppose we're gonna have to move again. But we blew our last savings getting this joint. I don't really know how we're gonna solve this. Eh, hey, don't worry about it, Makina. I'm sure we'll figure something out. I sure hope so, Buona. Catch you later, guys. Take care, Buona. Hmm. Maybe we have to help help them up somehow. When uh, when it comes to that eviction. Hmm. Knife rack. Hey, Sabo. Can I have a knife? Knives are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck getting Sabo to separate with one of his precious knives. Only That's a cleaver, time though. that ever happens is when he draws them at things. Yes, drawing knives? Very good relaxing therapy. Mm, okay, if you say so. So maybe we have to make him throw one of these uh, cleavers away, and then we can grab it. What's this funny? Hey, what's that funny thing? Creepy bunny. I don't know. Stop it, Buona. You're draining the batteries. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. And it and it doesn't it doesn't seem to be an item that we can just pick up. All right. And who is this guy? Hey, man. How's the food? It's bloody marvelous. Never had noodles like this before. As long as the noodles keep coming, I ain't budging. Those pesky bulldozers are just gonna have to run me over. Ah, all right. Glad you like the noodles that much. Uh, what do we have on TV? Uh, as 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 some sort of a. Uh, uh, it looks like yoga practice to me. Oh, yoga exercise. Nice TV, Sabo. Yes, good TV. Good reception. Yes, finally the reception is good again. Yes. All TV had lousy reception. I hate lousy reception! Just relax, <laughs> Sabo. Please, don't destroy this TV too. This is the third one, honey. Third one, huh? Maybe we have maybe we have to uh maybe we have to tinker with, with the TV, make it not work properly, then uh then supper then Sabo throws, uh, throws one of the cleavers or knives at, at the TV, and then we take the knife for ourselves. Hmm. I don't think we can use any of these to uh, uh, damage, uh, damage the TV in sub uh, subtly without these guys noticing. Hmm. How do you spell the word? Uh, sub subtly, subtly. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but you know what I mean. I'd love to mess with Sabo's TV. There's got to be a better way. Yeah, more subtle way. Yeah, that's how you said it. Subtle. It's an old poster with a picture of a beautiful woman posing with a battle. Drink McFerrin Eel Rings, a connoisseur's taste of Port Archie. Mm hmm. Sabo Kenneth. I like it. Catchy title, you guys. Do we have anything else here? Hmm, tires. Hey lady, what's that big blue thing? Is that a tire? Well, getting a hold of Mad Yagla here in the city has been difficult. So we had to move into some more experimental cooking. Oh. So wait, are you tell are you tell are you basically telling me that you are that you are keeping mud uh, mud bucklers or whatever whatever they were called inside these tires or that you are cooking in or that you are cooking them inside these things <laughs> okay okay there doesn't there doesn't, there doesn't doesn't seem to be anything else interesting in the kitchen or at, le or at least nothing that we can interact with can we talk with Sabo? how's it going guys hey buona welcome back friend catch you later guys mm, apparently Take care, not buona. Okie dokie, and that, that doesn't, doesn't seem to be anything else interesting or anything that we can interact with. Oh, so we can... Oh, oh wait, this app... 
this uh, this will just uh, uh, lead us back to the uh, trains train station, which we can then use to leave. Yeah, I don't see anything else interesting that we can do here. Use the, I don't know, use the air horn of the customer. Everyone listen up! I've got something important to share. Oh, Buona, stop it! You'll scare away our only customer. And but on, only very loyal customer, too. But what's down here? Ah, this looks oh, nice. Oh wow, Sankara Town is just the way I remember it. And it still smells delicious. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, this place looks very cool. But uh, thi uh, this uh, chick here looks rather creepy. Uh, actually, she actually looks like a normal girl in a sense. I mean, she, I mean, she doesn't look she doesn't look like Buana or any of any of the other characters we have seen so far. She just just looks like a normal hum human girl with no with no with no masks as African masks as her head, and she looks kind of creepy too. <laughs> okay, there seems to be a band of of some kind here. Nice grove, man. Mm. But but then but they are not they are not the kind of characters that we can actually talk to. I mean, look at it; they are two D. Mm, I bet that delicious smell is coming from over there. Looks like grilled tofu rat. My favorite. Grilled tofu rat. Well, that's interesting. Sounds very Chinese to me. I mean, those people eat quite literally anything. So we can. Uh, so we can explore ex explore the this marketplace some more. But before that, there's some fruit. Maybe maybe we have to get some fruit from from this stand. Nice fruit. Hey, there's a sticker on this one. Uh huh. It says certificate of purity. Certificate of purity, huh? Mm, can we talk to these two? Hi, Mister. My mommy makes the best juice in Sankara Town. You wanna try some? You look friendly. You can have a glass for free if you want. Sweetie, I told you. Oh wow, really? Yeah, I think everyone who's friendly should have free juice. That's a nice policy to have. <laughs> ah. Did you like it? Mmm, this is delicious. Yeah, mommy makes the best juice, doesn't she? She's an amazing woman. <laughs> she sure is. Thank you. You want more? Listen, sweetie, we can't just give away free juice to everyone who's nice to us. Why not? Because of the eviction, sweetie. We're about to get thrown out on the street. We need the no, money, you sweetie. Too? I don't care about money. I care about friendliness. You're friendly, aren't you, mister? Sweetie! My mommy doesn't have a boyfriend. I think she likes you. Sweetie, please! <gasps> oh man. Oh man. Well, things escalated quite, quite quickly. Super juice. Super fresh and super healthy. Oh wow! I love fresh juice! Well, okay. That's kind of a lame uh, name for a shop, but hey, that's just me. So, so, uh, so, so, we, so we got some free two, uh, free twos from uh, from these two, but but we didn't actually get it to our inventory because, well, he drank it, of course, but we, but we didn't even get the get the, an empty glass or something. Let's see if we can get more. Hello, ladies. Hey, Mister. You want some more juice? <laughs> no thanks. I'm good for now. Hmm. All right. So we can all. So guess. Guess that we guess that, that we can't talk to them uh, more. Maybe we have to come back here later and ask uh, and ask some more shoes. Once uh, once we know what we used to choose uh, for. Oh hey, but there's a tip jar. I wish I had some money so I could pay them for the juice. Sounds like they really need it. Yes, indeed. Maybe we have to find some money from somewhere. Maybe I don't know, pickpocket someone and steal their wallet or something. I mean. I, I I mean that's that's what Juana used to do when he was uh, when when he was a kid, right? Maybe he still ha has it in him. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen? 
You gonna demolish Sankara Town, man? You loco, man? Sir, back away from the perimeter. You back away, man. I'm not afraid of you, man. Come here, man. I'll give you a piece of this. <laughs> this is Scammer Squadron requesting permission to open fire. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. You call her mama. You cry to mama, you big chicken. Sir, there's a small, dog-like man disturbing the barricades. Hey, who you calling dog-like, Mr. Poodleface? No, no, he's not causing any damage. Oh, you wanna see damage, man? You asked for it. Uh, yes, sir. Understood. Black Bell, man, back off or I'm gonna bring the pain, man. <laughs> <laughs> I demolish. What a ride! As you can see, there is a lot of commotion here in Sankara Town right now. Let's get a word from one of the protesters here at the barricades. Excuse me, sir. What exactly are you demanding from the government? <laughs> uh, I am on TV. Our freedom. We demand free cheese for everyone. Hmm. I actually I like the first and the third option here. Ah, it's hard to hard to choose. And and I and I highly doubt that I can say both of them. Hmm. Well, let's say the third one. We demand free cheese for everyone. Wait, what? Are you sure? Never been more certain in all my life. But that's not. Hey, is is this live? Yes, this is ANN8, live at 11. Oh, cool! Oh, can I say hi to my friend? No, I... Hey, what's he? Kito! Everyone! I'm on TV! And cut. <sighs> Great choice, Gabby. You had to pick a complete dimwit to interview, didn't you? Hey, we're hey, still here. it ain't my fault this assignment is complete bogus. It's not like we're reporting anything that even resembles the truth anyways. <laughs> Let's take a five minute break and then do the last segment. <sighs> All right. Yeah, yeah, so, so, uh, yeah, sounds like the American media. Yeah. Shots fired again. So she's Gubby and a cameraman and a camera. Wow, there are a lot of people here demonstrating. They must really be angry. For a brighter future, we must all sacrifice. As the mayor of St. Armando, I have stated a zero tolerance policy against civil unrest. Obey and stay calm, or be calm by force. Hmm, okay, okay. A big Trump wall. And are those... Are those turrets? Yeah, they are turrets, alright, and not just lights. So, what's up, Gabby? Hey, can I be on TV again? Fun to be on camera, isn't it? Sorry, man. Segment's over. We're on our break now. My name's Gabby. Who are you? I'm Buana! Cool. So what's up, Buana? Well, she's... she's surprisingly friendly. What's going on here? People are mad because of all the evictions. That's what's going on. And now the police are threatening to clear out Sankara Town as well. Yeah, Sankara Town is cooking tonight. There must be a couple thousand demonstrators here at least. <laughs> Not that I think it'll change the minds of the politicians. <laughs> you kidding me? Mayor Morobo wouldn't budge if her life depended on it. Hmm. Yeah, tell us, tell us more about the mayor. Tell me about Morobo. Ha! Don't get me started on that mad woman. If I had a penny for every time that two-faced liar said one thing and did the exact opposite, I wouldn't have to grind this deadbeat 9 to 5 like some other sucker. Yes, and if you keep talking like that about the mayor, you'll leave us both without a job eventually. Uh-huh. Is this Hillary is this Hillary Clinton we are talking about? And once again shots fired. All right. Jokes aside. You know Professor Moorhead? Moorhead? The Underland expert? <laughs> you mean the conspiracy nut, right? Yeah, that's him! Can you help me find him? <laughs> no dice. The professor disappeared like two weeks back. 
We did a segment on that. No big news. Why'd you ask? I have to bring him this. Hey, that's microfilm. Just like our camera. What's on it? It's got top secret data about the power company's plan to destroy Saint Armando. Oh yeah, secret project to destroy Saint Armando. Ooh, yeah, sure, right. Hey, I wasn't talking to you, Meat Stick. Gabby, you can't be taking this fume head seriously. You kidding? This could be the scoop I've been waiting for, man. Let's ditch this farce of an assignment and go make some real news. Listen, yeah, about Gabby, time. you're not making real news because you're not a real journalist. What the hell are you talking about, man? Your job is to look pretty in front of the camera and say what the network wants you to say. Stick to what you know. Yeah, okay? sounds like an American you media. You know that ain't okay. That bullshit is over, man. This could be my breakthrough. I'm out of here. No, you aren't, Gabby. We're partners. And we're in this crap together, all right? You bail on me, and I'll have them revoke your license so hard, you'll never stand in front of a camera again. After we wrap this last bit of shooting, you can go interview a unicorn so far as I care, but as long as I'm still on this assignment, so are you. <sighs> well, damn. Sorry about Mr. Lapdog here. Looks like I'm stuck as long as he's still on the job. Aw, oh, man. So long as, as he's on the job. And he also picked up the camera. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we have to get rid of this guy somehow. And there's also this Pablo guy. A riot police. I don't see anything that we could pick... Uh, anything that, that we could pick up from here. What this? What did this this uh, certif certificate say again? It says certificate of purity. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm I'm just going to end this episode here. We well, okay. We we haven't exactly done much progress per se, but 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 we have but but we have ex ex explored the city quite quite nicely. Talked to many people. Learned what's going on here. And overall, I uh. I, I I think that I think that th that this that this is a good place to stop. So I'm gonna do just that. And in the next episode, well, I well we are we are obviously gonna figure figure out figure out what we have to do next. Where we have to use these items, and I, and and I guess we could try to talk to Gabby some more. Then the cameraman, maybe get rid of him from uh, maybe get rid of him, and then talk to uh, this Pablo guy and the right right police and and hear what they have to say. So yeah, that's for the next episode. Now then, thank you for watching once again and see you next time for more The Journey Down.